Okay. Hi everybody, Beyonce Virgo here. And I am here with my highly requested Lalumia review video. Should I start? Alright, I'm gonna start with shipping. Alright, so um I ordered my device and I wanna say late August, early September. And you know, I thought it will probably take two weeks max, but to my surprise, I ended up not even getting my device until I want to say like December 13th, 12th, December 6th. I don't remember, but I received it a whole September, September, so a whole three months later. And when I received it, get this, it was a defective device. Yes, it was. I was livid extreme absolute livid like I could not even believe that this was happening to me so I contacted Lalumia and I let them know that something was wrong with my device now the problem that I had with my device was that it would wash for the whole 15 minute wash cycle and then when it was time for the clean water from the little reservoir underneath the device um, when it was time for the water, the clean water to come up, well, the dirty water to be sucked out and the clean water to be pumped up uh, into the cleaning tray, and the light would return to blue, indicating that it was on. So I contacted Lalumia, and the first time I contacted them, I'm not even going to lie, they treated me as if I wasn't that important simply because I wasn't someone of tens of thousands of followers on Instagram and hundreds of thousands of followers on YouTube or subbies on YouTube. And I felt that made me feel like a little, like I didn't even want to exchange anymore because it's like, I know there's a whole bunch of other people other than YouTubers and other than Instagram famous people who are, you know, ordering simply because they don't want to clean their makeup brushes. So whatever, they basically told me to send them a video of it not working as if I was lying. And it's just like, if I'm telling you I received a defective device, do you think that I'm going to sit there and lie? Like, for real? So uh, that was that. They told me that I would have to send them a video. I ended up never sending them a video. So then I waited a while because at the time I was like going through moving from school to home for the holidays. And it was just my life was hectic for about a good couple weeks during that period of time. So then I was settled in or whatever and I contacted them recently and I'm like, hey, like you guys never included a return label or anything like that so do I have to pay for returning even though it is a defective device so they're like yeah you have to cover all that actually this was the first time so then the second time when I contacted them recently they were like oh well um, we'll send you uh, a thing in the mail and via email but I kind of feel as if I still maybe have to pay because it's not like it's just like their label with their address on it it's not like something that I can just slap on the package and send it. I feel like I still have to pay for it, which I think is absurd. Like they wouldn't even send the device with a return label on it, being that they are a new company and things are going to happen. And I feel like I just wasn't treated as a valuable customer simply because I wasn't someone who was high magnitude on Instagram or on social media, something like that. I thought that that, I spat. I thought that that was like a little bad for business because I'm gonna let you guys know I'm not gonna sit here and have you guys spending 145 freaking dollars and you know you're not treated with a uh, vast customer service and whatever I'm just ready to I don't know if I want to exchange it or just get my money back excuse me because I've just been having so many problems with it and it's just here taking up space and it's just like I'm over it. I waited three months to get this device and I get it and it doesn't work. Like how crazy is that? And so I don't know. I think I'm just going to, I might just return it and get, use my coin on something else because I personally feel as if it was, 
I don't want to say a waste because I was really excited to get it and to use it. I don't want to say a waste though, but I mean that's really what I feel like it is because like I get it and it didn't even it didn't even work properly. And on top of that, the customer service wasn't like I've had better, basically. So would I recommend this Lulumia brush cleaner to you guys? I would if maybe it worked and if I do end up exchanging it, I will make an updated video to my review. But not to mention, I did see some reviews on this device that weren't so good. The only ones that I saw that were good were the people who didn't have to pay for it, which is not a big surprise because we all know how sponsored videos can be. So yes, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to exchange it or if I'm going to, if I'm going to just return it. But once I figure it out, I will let you guys know. And that is that for that for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope y'all was able to help you guys before you spend your coin on something like this when you can just continue to clean your brushes by hand like I've been doing. Um, but yeah, hopefully I was able to help you guys with my review on this. And um, let me know what you guys thought. And let me know if you guys actually have the same Lulumia brush cleaning device. Here it is, right here in the box. I have satin gold, mine isn't pink. Mine is actually gold, this one. It's called Dubai. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys if you guys uh, received it and had a similar um, issue with Lulumia, let me know how your experience was, all of that. So always remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys would like to see next. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.